All right, my niggas. We back at it again, bro. It's the boy Trey, my nigga. All right, so this was this was this was what's happening. All right, I was just chilling here, my nigga, just watching some a little chill video. I thought it was gonna be chill, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's, the more I watched the video, bro, this shit got turned. I was like, this is a bang. I gotta I gotta record these. This shit cold as hell, my nigga. All right, so this nigga breaking down how to win every death game. Who would you rather? Shit. Bro, I tried recording this shit earlier a second ago, bro. My shit was doing a little sound weird and shit was streaming my shit. And I, I couldn't see if my shit was recording or not, my nigga. So I recorded like a, a little bit of this shit. So we here, though. We here, though. We're going to continue from here, bro. Basically, this bitch need to get some money to to help her brother get like some bone marrow transplant or some shit. Because he about to die. And like this fuck nigga offers, offers her like, you know, a little... A little sign saying, a little gang that can give it a little paper. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So that's where we at. And a whole bunch of other fuck niggas wanted money too. They're desperate as a motherfucker. And what the fuck Granny doing there, bro? She looking for some new legs? I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Forgot I said that shit. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Anyway, bro, let's get it, though. Let's see what the fuck going on with this shit. This may be some horror movie shit. I ain't watched this shit. Pretty desperate enough to be here in the first place. Why would I suddenly want to play... Hey, my nigga, if you want to watch the movie, that's tough. That's tough. We ain't here for the movie. We're here for, to find out how to win this shit if he wasn't in a real life situation type shit. Yeah. Shit, do that shit in your own time, my nigga. Come on. By the rules, if my brother's life hangs in the balance, I need every advantage, fair or not, yes, to gain the upper hand. Bang, if they right ask for my phone, I would tuck it inside my waistband behind my belt and simply say that I didn't bring it with me. There's no Damn. metal detection, no x-ray, not even a pat down. This is a flaw that we can and should exploit. Dinner starts Sheet. and they're served the main course of steak and foie gras. But Iris here has some gripes. She's a strict vegetarian who's sworn to never eat meat. And this is where the night starts to get interesting. Be tripping, the host bro. offers her $10,000 to Nigga give up her life. Nigga saying can be animalist or some shit. Steak. Like comparing she animals. at first, like, but everyone has a price. As she take them niggas comparing animals to like racism and shit. Like, you know how like niggas like eat animals and shit? Now like animal cruelty and all that shit like... Bro, you might as well gonna eat me regardless. It really don't matter, bro. Like it's crazy. But they were talking about how like the way we treat animals is equal to like someone being racist or like someone being sexist or some shit. It was on some other shit, bro. <laughs> Once I live did a video on it, that shit was funny. Like she takes that deal and swallows her pride. He then knows that the she old literally, man here is she literally just ate some of that meat for some bread, bro. That's tough, bro. Like you go, mm, man, I'm gonna I'm play. It's a long ass video. I need to stop pausing. He finds out he's a recovering alcoholic, offering him $50,000. This nigga using the ante nigga. and tells him to drink an entire scotch decanter. For some After bands, a you do that. Hesitation, he finally gives up 16 years of hard fought sobriety. Okay. 16 years, bro. Imagine your ass doing, bro, you just do this for, for your, for your well being, for your health, bro. Some nigga throw some bands up. Imagine, imagine, like, let's say, let's say you're a bodybuilder or some shit, right? And like, you vow never to eat, I don't know, sweets or some shit. Nah, that's not a good idea. Nah, nah, nah. You vow to like never eat like fast food or some shit like, like that, right? And some motherfucker comes up to you like, hey, yo, bro, 100K. 100K if you eat this fucking burger right here. You gonna do it? Hell yeah, nigga. Seems like a fucking no brainer. Like, what the fuck? Like, goofy. Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Okay, there's a pattern building here. The host wants to make us do things that go against our principles and morals for cold yeah, hard cash. Nice. Fortunately, this can be easily manipulated because both of these challenges were based on information that they volunteered. Oh yeah. I would create a lie that would make him give me easy challenges that I didn't Ooh. morally object to, such as telling him I'm Jewish and only eat kosher. What? I might even say I'm celibate just to see what happens. Now this is probably going to escalate quickly, and if we stay that too long, really drinking be all of that. things that are downright evil. With a room of desperate people, only God knows what some of them might be capable of. Damn, bro, what? Hold on, shot it right there. I was gonna say she kind of cute, but she got like a potato face. I take that back. Got a little potato face on her. But she had a wet hair, she look going on, man. But Granny, bro, I hope you don't do nothing crazy. I hope nothing crazy happened to you, bro. That's just big, man. That's tough, man. What you doing there in the first place, bro? Where did he find you? Damn, bro, she didn't, she, she don't know. She don't know niggas. She don't know niggas die around here. She don't know that. Especially when things start getting competitive. Nigga, we should be taking this opportunity to grab as much cash as possible in these simple, isolated challenges and leave before it gets out of hand. The host then reveals. Shit, you know what I'll do, bro? I'll be like, 
I'll be like, yo, I'll be like, man, I don't drink water. <laughs> I'll be like, I don't drink water. He's like, really? I only drink juice. Anything else, I don't drink water though. He's like, um, would you want to drink this whole gallon of, of water for a hundred band for for a hundred bands? Man, I'll be like, damn, bro. I said, nah, man. I don't fuck. Shut the fuck up, my phone, man. I'll be like, I'll be like, bro, man, I don't I don't fuck with water, bro. I don't I don't know. Research proves woo 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 dying my ass off. 100k in a bag, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Then reveals the main event of the evening. They will all be playing a game of Would You Rather with some important differences. In each round, every player will be given two unpleasant choices with only 15 seconds to choose. They're eliminated if they don't act in time, and the last remaining player Ooh, wins the game. That's some tough rules. Before they right start, there. he offers them a chance to leave, but no one gets up, and the game begins. Hey, listen, bro. If I'm the nigga who drink alcohol and shit, I, I, you go 50k, right? 50k, I'm out. I'm out. There is no way, bro. You think I just got some money, bro? Like I don't. Know. First of all, they don't know it's a dead game, my nigga. Right? They just like, yeah, bro. Like, you see, he played my games already, bro. This man put some money on the table. Like, just niggas earn money already. So other niggas are like, yo, shit, I, yo, he got bands, bro. Like he wasn't capping about this. So niggas are easily manipulated here, bro. Look at this shit, bro. Strategy type shit. He got your niggas lowered in. He showed a couple bands. Now niggas are like, oh, shit, he, he's the real deal now, huh? I'm going to stay. I ain't moving. Stupid ass nigga. If you the nigga who got 50K, leave, bruh. Leave, bruh. Invest in something else. Begins. The host reveals that his butler used to be an interrogator for MI5. Oh, he hell no. He brings out one of his old tools for torture. And they'll be <laughs> <continue> to <laughs> their guests. The alcoholic wants no part of this and tries to Yo, leave, stupid. but the butler makes it clear that's no longer an option by shooting him. Oh, death. shit! It be like that. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, granny, you should have stayed at, at, at home, bro. You should have stayed at home eating eating some 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 potato, you know what I mean? Some potato salad, bro. Some mashed potato with a little bit of sausage on the side with some, with some gravy, man. You should have stayed there. Ooh, shoddy too. You... You should have stayed on Instagram, man. Acting on emo and shit. Sending sending sad posts to your fucking page, bro. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. You already know what the fuck you signed up for. Now you're going to learn, nigga. In the head. If they Ooh, want out alive, shit. they need <laughs> to <laughs> You're fucked up. All right, this is messed up, and not just because they've skipped That's the evil, a If it's me, that. I'm paying close attention to the Iraq war veteran. He would have the best instincts in a life-threatening situation, and if he's not moving into striking distance of the gunmen, it's fair to say we don't have a good chance to fight our way out of this. We need to play the game until we have a better what? opportunity to escape, and now it's all about making the escape? best Escape? You, you, you don't want to bend? For as long as possible. Now, we Ooh. have only 15 seconds ah. to make difficult decisions, which gives us very little time to explore the consequences seconds. of the choice. This thing is a torture device, so we'll likely have to choose between two different forms of pain, which is scaring the shit out of everyone at the table. In high pressure situations like this one, the brain is influenced by fear, panic, and cognitive bias. Bruh. We tend to compensate for these by oversimplifying our options. But there's actually a way to bypass all these mental blocks to allow you to make better and more rational decisions. Okay. Professional chess players use a decision making tactic in their games that psychologists man, I call chess in a minute. I used to play with my cousins thinking, back there. Where a player bro. makes a series of moves. Shout out my boys in Zoom, bro. If you're watching this, bro, let's them make strategic Love sacrifices to achieve Love their final goal. Now, most people in this situation would base their decisions on avoiding pain. Oh but that's God, a mistake bro. because it limits your thinking and strategy to only a momentary goal. The final outcome here is not to suffer less pain, it's to win and survive. This yeah. type of strategic thinking helps bypass intuitive and emotional responses and make better decisions to gain the advantage. The butler puts a headband on this guy and he's asked if he would rather electrocute himself or Amy here. The host starts the clock and just before time runs out, he decides to shock himself. And they say chivalry is dead but he's voluntarily weakened himself without gaining anything in return. If it's me, I'm choosing to shock someone else because it increases my chance of winning if others are too in- You a simp! Oh my, I didn't realize for a second. Oh, you a simp, bro. She ain't gonna give you no coochie. Man. It got all, oh, you know, man. Oh, dog. Man. You had your whole life ahead of you, man. Could have been in the NBA type shit. Could have been an accountant, bro. For for 21 Savage, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. 
Now you got one life that you just lost, nigga. Like, what the fuck wrong with you? Over a female, too. Like, simping, it, simping is disease. This is... Fuck my mind. Simping a disease, bro. God damn it. To fuck again. <laughs> He's actually given everyone an advantage because they now have more information to work with. If we know what we're in for, we can plan for it better. Oh, oh, oh. Don't trust women, bro. Women are fucking deceiving. Look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. Look, look at this bitch, bro. Look at this bitch, bro. She, she don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck, bro. Yes, Nick lost your life over that shit. Females are evil, bro. Not all females are evil, but females are deceiving, my nigga. They liars, my nigga. Female, females the most. I don't know. I feel like the, the snakiest breed of human. No cap, especially when they're around their friends and shit. Sometimes they'll be, be acting like they're, fr they're friendly with somebody, and then as soon as they do, they're like, man, I hate that bitch. I'm like, what the fuck? Why you act like you like on them, my nigga? Like, around my turf, around my hood, like, around the boys and shit, if, you, if I don't fuck with him, I don't fuck with him. I tell him straight to his face. And we saw that, that it was supposed to be right there. We're like, hey, bro, you did something wrong. Did this, did this, did this, did that. I didn't fuck with it. And then he's like, oh, for real, bro? Oh, man, my bad, bro. Woo, 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 done. But females, they hold grudges for like a million years, my nigga. I'm telling you, there's still somebody laying in their casket like these. Like, I fucking hate Emily. Ah. Ah, oh, Damn, nigga. She, she ate my soup. What the fuck? What are you talking about? What, your soup? Man, rest. Rest in peace. Let go. Stupid ass. Break better. This guy is still conscious and doesn't have any burn marks, which means the electrical potential okay, is too good. low to stop your heart, and you can survive a single shock. Now, there are some things we can shock. do to lessen the pain here. Water is a conductor of electricity. So if Ooh. I was next, I would dry any sweat from my forehead because wet skin has 500 times less resistance to electricity and will hurt oh. much more. We could also consider cheating. Okay. If you were brave enough and halfway decent at sleight of hand, you could try slipping a credit card between your skin and the electrodes because plastic is an insulator and thin enough oh. to hide. The next two players in line get strapped in, but Amy here wastes no time and instantly chucks the old woman like it's nothing. She's cold-blooded. The old woman is given... Oh, see? Females don't give a fuck, bro. Oh my god. No time. Bitch, you can't even consider that she's old as hell when she might actually die from this shit. Like, you evil, dog. Don't trust no motherfucking females, my nigga. Females are evil sometimes, my nigga. Especially this type of bitch, bro. You be thinking they bad as hell. You're like, damn, she bad. I'm trying to slide up in on things. You slide up in there, you're good. You're doing all this, all that, all that. Yeah, bro. If you a simp, don't go for none of these ones, my nigga. Because they'll just throw you for a loop. You'll just be chasing, chasing your own tail, my nigga. Yeah. Am I speaking from experience? Hell no. What the fuck you think you're talking to? Shut the fuck up. No time and instantly chucks the old woman like Damn, it's nothing. Bro, that's cold savage, though. The old woman is given the same choice and she chooses to shock the gambler. They go around the table and finish the first round with Lucas and Iris here, the only other players who decide to shock themselves. Wow. Okay, there are actually two ways to Why, bitch? play this as a team, and that was for everyone to either unanimously decide to shock themselves or to shock others. Only these two options will have a fair outcome because everyone gets shocked okay. only once. But this strategy requires 100% trust and no rogue decision makers. And when the challenges get more brutal, we won't be able to rely on others to think about the group Shit, over okay. themselves. And this tells me group decision making would be a bad strategy. The staff prepare for the second round with their only chance. Good. The group secretly discuss taking down the guards, stealing their guns, and taking their keys to escape the house. Before oh, they can come to any agreement, the host's son Julian comes in to taunt them. The veteran oh. starts mouthing off, and his son makes it clear that he'll regret it later. Oh! Right. Bad decisions are made when you let emotions get the better of you. Now, studies show oh. fear drives people to make pessimistic decisions, and angry people will make optimistic ones. Fuck. Deciding to curse this guy out optimistically assumes that there will Bro, be no what, consequences. What are you doing? That's stupid. We all what are you doing? That's the nigga dad, bro. If you die, you die. I already know that the host you die, will you have die. us killed without blinking an eye. I want to stay quiet so I don't get any special attention. Now, it's cold-blooded, but I'd also encourage others to speak out and get Shit. emotionally triggered. <laughs> this situation is scary as hell, Shit. and I'd be pessimistic enough to think there's no way out of this without winning. Meanwhile, oh Iris' God, doctor bro. has snuck onto the property. He won the last game, so he what? must know what's going on, and it looks like he's here to help them. But he Yo, the brother pulled up! Yes, sir! But why though? Why now? Like you won last time, so why the fuck you come in, huh? How did you win last time, my nigga? That's the question, bro. 
But the fact that you're showing up randomly and shit has me questioning some shit, bro. Has me questioning some shit. But he can't take out all the guards by himself, so they'll have to survive the next round until he can figure out what to do. Wow. Okay, there's no reason for this doctor to be on the property. If he actually wanted to save lives and avoid suspicion from the host, yeah, he should stay home and call the police or the fire department from a burner phone to avoid any trace of the call back to him. <laughs> if the authorities get involved, of course he, got he gives the guests an opportunity to escape. This guy doesn't consider any of this, and if he was my doctor, I'd definitely be seeking a second opinion. The next round has begun, what? and this time they will have 30 seconds to make their decision. But the oh, you're right, though. Yeah, call the fucking ops, bro. Ooh, there's a reason he call the ops. He's fucking smart, my nigga. He's, he's a nigga. He's a real nigga from the, from the gutter, bro, from the streets, bro. Because if you call the ops, they'll be like, how did you earn your profit? How did you get your money? And it's like, through this game. It's illegal money now. Now he's in jail. Bitch, come on. He's not stupid, bro. He's not calling the ops on the, on the, on the, on the fucking source that he got money from. This man would expose him, bro. Come on. He probably kill somebody to get, to get that money. Sadistic. The first player to go is Iris, and she's asked if she would rather stab this guy's thigh with an ice pick or whip the veteran with the staff three times. Okay, things are getting really serious now. We have whoop. to be a lot more careful of our decisions because not no, only could they kill someone, nigga. but we should also be expecting retaliation if we make the wrong choice. I'd be Shit. very tempted to beat someone as a lesser punishment, but in this case, choosing the ice pick is actually the safer of the two options. This app is called a Jambok, Damn, and it's a audio fucking nightmare. Me. Often made from hippo or rhino hide and used by cattle herders in South Africa oh, police during apartheid, shit. this thing can cause enough damage to experience symptoms of crush syndrome, which leads to kidney failure and rhabdomyolysis, what which kills fuck? muscle fibers and releases it into the bloodstream. Ooh. A shallow stab in the thigh, however, can be quickly treated, but placement is absolutely vital. Stabbing someone okay. on the outermost side of their leg avoids major arteries, and depending okay. on someone's build, there can be a thicker layer of subcutaneous <coughs> fat on the thighs, which might Big decrease the chances Ew. of causing Too a life cake. In. Ew. Iris decides Ew. to use the African whip staff but the bigger pee. mistake here was letting him take off his jacket because he's removing a layer of protection she tries to take it easy on him but the host won't count them unless she uses full force now the back has a lot of weak points there are vital organs nerves oh. and bones without a lot of muscle <laughs> Is that joke up, bro? Them, making Yo. it much more dangerous this guy didn't specify where to hit him so if you had to use the staff then you should aim for the butt the thighs and the forearms dominatrixes target these in impact play because they have Yo. a higher pain threshold than the rest of the body so getting a little kinky might actually save your life the next guy is given the same choice. He can either stab the woman or whip the veteran three more times. He knows there's a major artery in the thigh that could kill her, but isn't sure where it is, so he chooses to beat the soldier again. Oh my this guy's god. Taking like a champ. Luckily, it's the veteran's turn next, and he's given a choice to stab this guy or get whipped three times stab, by the butt. Surprisingly, he chooses the whip. This guy begs the veteran to stab him, but the host says he can't change his mind. Okay, he's clearly being singled out because he stood what? up to the host's son, and it's hard to watch, but it's also a direct benefit to every other player in the game. Yeah, the bro. most practical decision here you is to use this as an opportunity bro. to take out a competitor and improve your chances of winning. So when it's our turn, we should make our decision based Damn. not on what keeps him in the game, but on the most compassionate way to take him out of it. The best solution that for a merciful hurts. exit from the game that's offend the rules is to stab someone in the femoral artery because it's a major supplier of blood to the lower body. This artery is primarily centered around the inner what? thigh, so aim for somewhere around here, and they'll die in a matter of minutes if they don't get help. It's cruel, but there are two ways out of here. You're either the winner, or get sent out in a body bag. It's the gambler's <laughs> turn now, and he's given the choice of either whipping the veteran Rags. who could die from his wounds, oh or stab God. the paralyzed woman next to him. He rationalizes that she won't feel the pain because she's paralyzed, and he stabs her in the thigh, accidentally piercing an artery. He makes a tourniquet with his belt to stop the bleeding as the woman decides if she wants to whip the soldier or stab Amy here. She gives her answer and Amy. quickly jabs the goth girl with the ice pick, but wasn't expecting to get elbowed in the face. What the fuck were wrong with the you? The gambler made the right move here. The vet is on his way out and the old woman can't feel her legs, so if he aims for the femoral artery, he could eliminate her painlessly. That's two for the price of one, and it's a perfectly Shit. rational strategy to cut down the pool of competitors. His reaction here is a great way to garner Bruh, empathy, because even though stupid. he stabs her, this he also stupid, decides to help her bro. once he sees how severe her wound is. Some wild Acting morally shit. conflicted makes him appear less Why? evil, and the other players might be less likely to target him.